Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Oh, Elias. You want to walk with Elias? My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. What a stomp! Good grief! Boom! Oh, what an elbow! Hooked up. That part. Ah, oh, shit breaker. Ooh! Yeah, man, he says so he's the real Seth Rollins. <laughs> oh, man. Matt Shane's only got three. <laughs> what an asshole. Uh -oh. Nino, man, that hurts. Seth Rollins in some trouble here. He's going to need to find a way You're to You're welcome, by the way. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that could obviously no. be here. Ah, oh, man, I said too fast. I'm mad I lost my, my whole fucking rating because of that. Right across the back of the neck. Really working over Man the can't body. break that up because he likes breaking up moves. Seth Rollins is a top competitor here in WWE, but he isn't without his faults. How, the How can his opponent expose any flaws? If you had to point out one flaw in the game of Seth Rollins, it's that he tends to be a very highly emotional competitor. Seth tends to get inside of his own head and get they're, distracted from the task at They're hand. desperate. They've lost two in a row. Lost two in a row. To. We've seen how Seth Rollins can allow his emotions to steer him in the wrong direction and take his eyes off the prize. Yeah, nothing was more evident of that than when he and Dean Ambrose lost their tag team championships because they were preoccupied yeah, with it. an invading New Day instead of focusing on their challengers. Oh, what impact. He looks a bit off his game here. So many variables for him to take into account here in this Tornado Tag Match. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Double axe handle smash. He doesn't run a high flyer, dipshit. That'll hinder your modeling career. Now that's one way to surprise an opponent. <laughs> Harsh impact on him. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's making a statement here with this attack. I don't know that fucking low elbow too. Shit. I'd say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunn Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning. Pete Williams took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunn so also close. walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion uh -huh. at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. Just you know, do what you want to. Elias said, "You gotta believe this one's over." That's what he was looking for. I should kill him. We already established that Pete Dunn cover here. Now back to the ring. Putting it all no. on. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. Just when you think he's done, Seth Rollins finds the strength to power through and battle on. Seth Rollins got out of dangerous path there. Great move by the architect. A quick reversal. What by look like? Combination. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. 
Why the hell that? He's looking a little dirty here. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? This is one of the more evenly matched That's contests we've not helping your partner. He tried to From fucking run the elbow things, again. It could really go either way. Well, what you got? Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Oh, a shinbreaker! Ah, oh, fireman's carry! They can't dun, dun, dun. after that attack to the back! A knee drop! Bring Shane's favorite weapon in here. Using the elbow as a weapon! Takes him down! What in a major said? way, too! Yep. Over the years, guys, I'd say we've come to expect Shane McMahon to do some crazy things in the ring. I don't think anybody expected to see him leap off the top of the cell at WrestleMania 32. How could they get away with that? That's not legal. Oh, no luck against Dunn. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing more on Shane's amazing leap at WrestleMania than Michael mentioned. Remember, Shane somehow got back to his feet after ultimately missing now his I'll intended the target, you. The Undertaker. Not only did he get to his feet, Saxton, Shane actually told The Undertaker to keep bringing it. If that's not the definition of resilient, I, I don't know what is. <clears throat> oh boy, he is rolling. Downtown bad boy. Shane, beautiful technique. Nice. Shut it down. Oh my god. Shane O'Mac putting his jujitsu training to work. Wow. But he used that residency. This one is over. <coughs> oh boy, he is and he breaks the hold. But look at him, still trying to catch his breath. <laughs> Remember fucking um, F5 Toddy? Dominated! And now Dominated! That has got to be it! This is gonna hurt, okay? You know what I respect most about Shane McMahon, guys? It's that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of Do being it. Mr. McMahon's son. But instead, he, he chooses it. to prove his oh, worth no, each he and every it. time he steps into the ring. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like breaking up moves, right? mention how Shane proves his worth by stepping into the ring, which is something I don't think a lot of executives would do, let alone go to the extreme. Elias setting it up! Oh, boy! Boom! Game, set, Matt. <sighs> It's such a unique style matchup. He didn't even bother to use resiliency. No, it's not good. It's not good. Whatever. 